and welcome to the Tabletop Games Blog topic discussion. Tabletop Games Blog Statistics for 2022 In a slight change to our usual schedule, I thought I'd write a quick update and release it outside the normal Tuesday and Saturday slots. I already spoke about some of the highlights from last year in my article 2022, a year in review, including costs and expenses. In this article, I want to talk about how the Tabletop Games blog itself performed in 2022, including the time I spent on it, as well as how many visitors and views the blog got. Time If you have ever wondered how long it takes me to write and record my articles and edit everything for release, as well as schedule all the relevant social media posts, here are some useful figures for you. I spent Nearly 98 hours writing 104 review and topic discussion articles. Over 95 hours recording and editing the audio, uploading it all and scheduling the social media posts for those 104 articles. And nearly 12 hours editing and publishing 6 Let Me Illustrate episodes. That works out as over 205 hours or around 4 hours each and every week of the year. I currently work only four and a half days a week at my day job, so I'm slightly short on the hours I need to spend on the blog. That's not too bad though, but I'm thinking about reducing the hours at my job further. Statistics The visitor and view statistics for the blog have gone up quite a bit when compared to 2021, which is great. I've put a lot of effort into making the site load more quickly and be more visible to search engines so the effort seems to have paid off. Visitor figures for 2021 were 28,647, while in 2022 we had 41,663 visitors. That's the difference of 13,016, or an increase of 45.44%. In 2021 views were 43,710, while in 2022 we had 99,869. That's a difference of 56,159 on increase of 128.48%. The top five posts by views for 2022 were The Scientific Benefits of Tabletop Gaming, which was a topic discussion article and a guest post by Laurie Trueblood of Adventures Authenticity. Second place is Enough is Enough, Minimum Board Game Review Requirements, another topic discussion article. In third place we have Top 5 Board Games of 2021, which was a Saturday review. Fourth place is Slow Death, Play Elimination in Board Games, another topic discussion article. And finally in fifth place, a game about stuffing balloons as a team without talking, but it's a card game, there are no actual balloons, which was a Saturday review. It's really nice to see a guest post in that list, and also that there is a mix of reviews and topic discussion articles. The top five countries by views of 1022 were first place United States, then second place European Union, in third place we had the United Kingdom, fourth Canada and fifth Australia. France and Germany took places sixth and seventh, so it's nice to see that I reach an audience outside the traditional English speaking locations. Well, that's it really. I just thought I'd add these little nuggets of information for completeness sake. Thank you for listening to this Tabletop Games blog topic discussion podcast. Please check the description below for links mentioned in this episode as well as to the written version of this article on the blog. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, give us some stars or leave a review. Please also tell your friends about me and if you want to offer financial support, check out my Patreon Ko-fi pages, links to which you'll find in the blog at tabletopgamesblog.com. So thank you again for listening, and I hope to see you again soon. This podcast was made possible by the generous help of my supporters. Royal Patron, Sean Newman. Magic Champion, John Risley. Castle Guards, David Miller and James Naylor. Dice Masters, Alex Bardi, Paul Grogan and Robin Kay. Shining Lights, Gavin Jones, Vukasin Nizovic, Sarah Reed, Richard Simpson, and Tim Vernick.